This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update for Tuesday, November 1st, 2011. You're looking at a live view inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center. This is the Orbit 2 team. They've been on console since earlier this morning. Today's flight director is Dina Contella. She is sitting there at the middle console. Sitting beside her is Reed Wiseman. He is today's CAPCOM. The Expedition 29 crew on board the space station consists of Commander Mike Fossum, as well as flight engineer Sergei Volkov and Satoshi Furukawa. There is the crew. They've been busy today working on a series of experiments and also some maintenance activities. They are also getting ready for the arrival of the Progress 45 cargo craft that will take place early tomorrow morning. Mike Fossum has been busy working on an experiment called Spheres. You see one of the Spheres uh, experiment modules there. It looks like uh, exactly what it sounds like, a large sphere. It's about the size of a bowling ball. There are three of these. They test out autonomous rendezvous and docking maneuvers. So basically they fly formations uh, by themselves and with one another. Each satellite has its own self-contained power, propulsion, computers, and uh, onboard navigation equipment. Uh, something a little bit different today is that uh, Fossum is using a smartphone attached to one of those spheres. That smartphone is uh, employing its use of a camera, uh, some video, and also some Wi-Fi basically giving uh, one of those spheres, those cameras give those spheres basically some uh, eyes and ears for the ground controllers to help Fossum uh, program those maneuvers. While he is doing that, Sergei Volkov is working on a couple of experiments inside the Russian segment of the station. One is called Typology. You see Volkov there in the back, Satoshi Furukawa there in the front. Typology, which is uh, one of the experiments that Volkov is working on, takes a look at how the crew members uh, see and react to different types of colors and shapes and through a variety of different tests uh, the uh, ground teams can monitor how the crew members are reacting to being up in space. He's also working on an experiment called identification. This is another Russian experiment that examines the dynamic loads uh, that happen on the International Space Station during different types of operations such as docking and uh, reboots which take place from time to time. Volkov, as well as Furukawa, are also going to be testing out the KU band antenna system. This is one of the communication systems on board. Uh, that system will be used tomorrow during the Progress 45 rendezvous and docking so that we can get live video of that event. Furukawa is also going to be taking some air quality uh, monitoring measurements today as he continues uh, a week's worth of work uh, taking a look at the environments uh, on board the station. He uh, worked on some of the water yesterday to make sure that it is acceptable for the crew to use and he will take some samples today of the air on board. Furukawa also working on a plant experiment today as part of the commercial generic bioprocessing apparatus. This is a large rack that is used to maintain different types of experiments uh, at different temperatures. So he will uh, take care of that. And the crew also has some crew Earth observations today of Egypt, Africa, and Hawaii. As we mentioned, the Progress 45 on its way toward the International Space Station. It launched Sunday morning at 5.11 a.m. Central Time. It will be docking with the International Space Station tomorrow morning at 6.40 a.m. Central Time, 7.40 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, we will have live coverage here on NASA television beginning at 6.15 a.m. Central Time, 7.15 a.m. Eastern Time.